Hello everybody and welcome to GXA week 7 I think? <laughs> I'm bad with numbers but yeah. It's done Defeated League and it's week 7. Yes it's week 7 because last week was week 6. And we are almost nearing the end and I'm Cynthia, coach of the Germany German FRX, the undefeated team in this league. Yes. <laughs> And we are facing against Will, coach of the Somerset Steenies. And I'm nervous because there's two ones that I'm extraordinarily scared about. And those two are one Mew, because I have seen him use the Cosmic Power Mew set. And anyone who doesn't prepare for that set loses to it. So I prepared for it as best as I could. And the second one is Mega Aerodactyl, which we faced, or I faced, last week in a off-screen league that I'm doing simultaneously to this, because I do two leagues, one recorded and one off-recorded. And it was a terror there as well, and it's a terror again, because it's a pterodactyl. Haha, <laughs> I made a joke. But for real, it is terrifying. It reads only two moves, Dual Wing Beat and Earthquake. The other two are Roost and D-Dance, and it goes ham on my team. So I have to prepare for that very, 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 very good. If he doesn't bring EQ, then Marvel walls it. Spoiler, that's why I'm very sure that he brings Dual Wing Beat and Earthquake, because Dual Wing Beat is only resisted by Marvel, I think. What's my electric? Oh yeah, Circuitry. And Earthquake hits those two as well, so there's no need for Stone Edge and Roos for recovery and D-Dance for sweeping my ass. So I'm scared of that. That's the two I'm most scared about. Then he has a type of Beanie, which is, I don't know, can be scary, cannot be scary. It's slow, so I'm not as concerned about it. Tangrowth, which is just fat. Kyurem, which I'm not too concerned about. Blaziken, which is without speed boost, so Mega Low Pony outspeeds it, so I don't care. Greninja, outsped by Megalopony, so I don't care unless it's Scarf, and then, I don't know, Momo, uh, Alamomola walls it. Durant, can be scary with choice band first impression and stuff, but I have a Gliscor, I have a Lopony that speeds it, I have, an, I have stuff, so I'm not too scared. Rhyperior, I have an Alamomola. Venelux, Aurora could be annoying, but I don't know. And my neck trick, which is whatever. So, the team I have is this. We have Mega Brötchen, of course, or Low Pony. Wonderful Low Pony of the Jolly Nature. We have 152 speed to outspeed Greninja. We sadly don't outspeed Greninja with an Adamant Nature, so we have to bring Jolly. The rest is HP and attack, as usually. Uh, do I want this? Oh god, I have to sneeze. <coughs> Apologies. It's not limber, but I'm always bringing Mega Lopony in on a U-turn and stuff anyway when I'm slower, so I, I'm not gonna switch into a paralysis anyway, so I'm not going to bother bringing limber, it's just gonna be scrappy. And yeah, close combat, U-turn, return, basic stuff, and then we have Circle Throw. And Circle Throw has the effect that it goes last. But it swaps the user, it's a phasing move. And the reason it is here is because if he brings Cosmic Power Mew, then that's one of my ways to counter it. Because if he starts setting up on me, then I can circle for him and switch him out and delay the set a little bit longer. Of course, I have to be worried and careful because if it's not Cosmic Power and it goes for a Psychic, then I'm dead and that's bad. So I have to be very careful when to use Circle Throw. But if it does work out, then we can just circle throw it out and be glad that it's not going to destroy me. <clears throat> Got it. I have snot on my nose. It's winter over here, so temperature is very cold, so yeah. Then we have not Batman, the glass score, defensive because we need that, very defensive because we need that, roost and defog for utility and health, Eugen for momentum and rock tomb, mainly so we can slow down the Aerodactyl because it forces him to spam D-Dance and it still does some damage. 
I could run EQ, but then I couldn't hit um, Aerodactyl unless a Ruse, so I'd rather run Rock Tomb because he has Stone Edge to it, KOs it, but he can just Roost on it and wall out my Stone Edges. So I'd rather run Rock Tomb because Rock Tomb forces him to keep um, D dancing instead of attacking me, because if he doesn't, then Low Pony outspeeds it and one shots it. So we just need one speed drop on Aerodactyl and Low Pony outspeeds it, and that's really crucial. Knirsha the Morval is also in a Aerodactyl check with Intimidate, Max Defense, Iron Head, Baton Pass, Stealth Rock, and Foul Play. Iron Head to Tui KO the Aerodactyl, Baton Pass to switch out for Momentum, Stealth Rock for Rocks, and Foul Play for anything else that isn't Aerodactyl. <laughs> because I didn't know what else to bring, and Foul Play hits a bunch of things pretty neutrally. So yeah. Now, we take not. No, we take no damage from a. From a regular um, dual wing beat, but we still get to KO by an earthquake, so we need to be very careful. Because, yeah. But Intimidate is going to be very crucial, because it helps us cycle around between those two, and especially in case of third mon, Alamomola, Palm Knight the second, with the leftovers, Regenerator, and Specially Defensive, because I really want a Specially Defensive one as well, with the Careful Nature, Wish, Protect, Liquidation, and Toxic, if you get a Toxic off another Aerodactyl, then Gliscor kinda 1v1s it, because we can just Toxic stall it. Liquidation also to it KOs Aerodactyl, which is nice, Protect for Recovery, and Wish for Recovery, so basic stuff. Good to the Goth Tell is back with Leftovers Shadow Tag, HP, Mixed Defensive, Modest Nature, and a very interesting set as you can see. So, this set is mainly to 1v1 Cosmic Power Mew, because I don't want to get swept by Cosmic Power Mew. So we are bringing Cosmic Power Goth Tell. We can, because we can trap Shmew and then Cosmic Power alongside it, and then we are both fat. We both don't do any damage to us, and that's what Nasty Plot is for. Because if we Nasty Plot up, then Cosmic, that Stored Power to it kills it and Gothitel sweeps the entire team. And that's the idea behind it. And then we have Cat and Waltz the Scolipede, which I know doesn't has missing EVs on here, but I noticed it has the rest in HP, so don't worry, I'm aware. With Black Sludge, Protect, Mega Horn, Poison Jab, and Rock Slide. I'm not sure if I want Rock Slide or um, Black Sludge or Life Orb, honestly. I might put Life Orb on this, but... I don't know. I mean, it can still hit, take some hits and Protect gives some recovery, so... Yeah, I'm going to keep Black Sludge, because Life Orb doesn't do that much more, and it, and it's not really matter. But yeah. Protect for the speed boost and some slight black sludge recovery, Mega Horn for Bark Stab, Poison Jab for Poison Stab, and Rock Slide for the Aerodactyl. And yeah, we have speed to outspeed Aerodactyl at plus one, as well as I think Greninja? No, we don't outspeed Greninja, right? We don't outspeed Greninja. No, we don't outspeed Greninja. To outspeed something else. <laughs> hey, thanks, Paul. <laughs> Ace Jack congratulating me on, uh, rather, wishing me good luck. So, where's the battle links there? Making sure I have it already. Are we still recording? We are still recording. Eight minutes, that is pretty good. And, yeah. Wait. Yeah, I thought I did this. Uh. Pollen, then puff. Yeah, no, we yeah, have HP. Okay. It's not a random battle, it's National Deck Legacy, I believe. Yep. Okay. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. And I'm very nervous. Main threats, Mew and Aerodactyl. We have checks for that. Those four are all just Mega Aerodactyl and Mew checks. Well, Mega Aerodactyl checks maybe because Mew check is mainly Mega Offital. <sighs> I'm nervous. Let's go into it. And hope that we can keep up a win streak because I really, really, really want to go this season undefeated and buff Baffle Cat. I really want to do that. So I would be really sad if I would be if I uh, lose to some bullshit. <laughs> okay, a Redactyl and Mew, as expected. <sighs> Battle link is up. Have fun because I'm not wishing people good luck anymore. <laughs> okay. Aerodactyl, D-Dance, Mew, 
maybe Cosmic Power. I hope it's Cosmic Power because then Gothitelle won't be wants it. Otherwise, Gothitelle is kind of that great. I mean, it can maybe do something against Tapu Fini or set up on Tapu Fini, maybe on a choice band close combat Blaziken. I don't. The problem is I can't fit Rest because I need Energy Ball in order to hit the Greninja or else Greninja walls me. And I need Nasty Plot to win the 1v1 against Mew so I couldn't fit Rest. But we have still Wish to wish up Gothitelle in case we need it. So yeah, Purim could be Sub, could be Sub Diddy, could be Sub Bruce, could be Stall, could be a lot of things. It's gonna be tough. I do have Alamomola for the Purim. If it's special and if it's physical, I have a mobile Blaziken, I have an Alamomola, I have a Gothitelle, I have a Glyscore, I have a faster low pony. So, yeah. I don't think he's going to lead Aerodactyl, so... I think I'm going to lead low pony as always, Let's see what he leads with. Ninja. So if you are Scarf, how much damage would you do to me? You're not protein. No protein for you. I mean, no sane person would risk that. Because one move and you're dead. So I don't see him risking that. And I don't think a low kick is going to kill me. Yeah. Goes hard to Fini. So Greninja is not Scarf. We do 20 to the Tabo Fini. It is leftovers. Are you physically defensive then? No, you are not. Well, actually, yes, you are. Yeah. So we do turn here. Both. So because the terrain is up, he can't burn me. So we could technically go into um, Scholar Peel. And threaten it out again because he has no Steel type. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. He is Calm Mind. Plus one, plus one. I just get poison jab. Yup. Skull shouldn't kill me. Yup. You can't burn me either. And another poison jab kills you. And if you switch, the only check is Aerodactyl, and the chip on Aerodactyl is still appreciated because I'm just going to rock slide that. I'm just going to rock slide it, I'm telling you that right now. I'm going to hella rock slide it. There we go, it active. Nice, and the poison as well. Yeah, we are faster now.
Aerodactyl. Let's just put 56 to 67. It can kill, it kills guaranteed with poison. But yeah, Aerodactyl is such a threat, I'm going to do it. Aerodactyl is such a huge threat, I'm not going to risk it. Nice! Mm. I'm not sorry for that. <laughs> I am not sorry for that. This thing was such a huge threat for me. I am not sorry for that. I am not sorry for that. <laughs> I am not sorry for that. I'm a little bit sorry because... Well, it depends. If he did, if he did, then I would still outspeed him. And if not, then he would still die. So he would die either way. Let's say it that way. He would have died either way. For sure. Because the poison would have either killed him or he would have DD. Okay, cure him. Do I want damage on cure him? So I'm gonna scout what he goes for. Ancient power. So he really brought ancient power. That is so wack. a lot. This is definitely a problem. How much do I value Scolopine? Scolopine did most. It weakened the Tarkofini which needs to set up to do damage. Mew. I do have Garfetel to 1v1 one one it. As well as I can Toxic it. Greninja, I have Lopunny. Blaziken. Just going to Mega Horn. Ah, okay, that was my fault. Okay. So you substitute, that's good to know. I didn't see any leftovers though. Okay, it does kill me. Here's Life Orb. Does low pony kill you at this rate? Return does 48, close combat does enough. So yeah, we go into low pony. We click the close combat button. Hits everything and if Tabufini comes in, that does to a return, I think. And me we can just U-turn on. Even if it's like max HP, it shouldn't, yeah, it, it definitely dies. Okay, there's the Mew. I don't see leftovers. So it might be the cosmic power set. Mm. 
it is okay it is it is it is okay we are doing this we are doing this <laughs> okay let's do this then <laughs> Just free. I had to prepare for this. This was the best I had. Yeah, it do do no damage. But you know what's the best? Yeah, I'm gonna show you this now. <laughs> Crit doesn't even kill me, so... I need another one to totally KO. Please don't hex me again. Okay, now we to hit KO. Don't hex me again, please. Okay. Okay, is this GG now? Is this GG? How much does Greninja do to me? 20 25. Is Goff bulkier? One ten spit F or pause to one hundred spit F. But seventy HP or pause to one hundred HP. Don't flinch me. Yes! Okay. Leblitz doesn't kill me. Unless he's adamant, boss, banned, or he crits me or gets his super. Please kick. Lol. Dance heat. He can still free me. Yeah. GG car.
finally got my golf swing. Woo! Golf, golf, golf is the best, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm so proud. Look at those stats. Look at those stats. One thousand fifty-two, nine ninety-two, one thousand one hundred thirty-two. God, I love golf Sadly, sadly not six though because I had to sack Scolipede. Well, I didn't have to, but I still wanted. Uh, uh, don't think so. Pretty sure it was 1k Scummy, 5k Golf. <clears throat> yeah, Golf Hotel killed 5 months and Scolipede killed 1. Whew! I love Golf Hotel. So much, it's so underrated. I knew it. If he brings cosmic power, that's also why I didn't U-turn. I didn't want weakness policy to activate. So that's why I didn't U-turn, because I knew when I saw no leftovers, okay, he's that sad. I went to into Alo first, in case he is not that sad and is something else. Because I didn't want to reveal yet, or have Golf switch in on a U-turn or something. But he was that sad and I'm very, very, very happy. So. Seven wins in a row, guys. I think it's only two more games and then we are into playoffs. So if we win two more times, then we really went this season undefeated. Undefeated. <laughs> I am so hyped. We are now 6-0. And now 7-0, 30-plus differential. <laughs> what is happening? How is this team smashing everyone? I don't, I don't get it. But yeah. Uh, thanks y'all for watching, if you made it this far, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me how much Golf Hotel is awesome, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video, the next battle, when we face against uh, someone else, I think it's King? No, I think it's Palm, yeah, I think we face Palm next, and then King, and then it's Playoff, so uh, if you're seeing this Palm, I hope you're looking forward to get your ass kicked by Golf Hotel as well. Ah, <sighs> sadly Low Pony didn't get any kills, so Low Pony is not the kill leader anymore because Melmetal uh, surpassed it, sadly. But anyway, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed and see y'all. Bye.